What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Sam the Beer Guy channel. Today we are checking out Keyscape again. If you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know how much I love Keyscape. Uh, I've done a handful of reviews <clears throat> on a ton of their pianos. Um, I love Keyscape. It's always been one of my favorite go-to piano libraries. A lot of people love Keyscape. It is known as just one of the top piano libraries in the industry. Tons of people love it just because of how good it is. Um, it's so good, one, because of how it sounds like. How it sounds out of the box is awesome. And then it's just got a million different options. We've got roads, clavs, uprights. Uh, Celeste, you know, we got some whirlies, we got, you know, some combo patches, wing tacks, more roads, road bases, I mean, clavs, clavs, um, dulcitone, harpsichord, harp, harmacord, some of your old vintage, uh, you know, electric pianos, like your MKS-20, your JD-800, MK-80, the Whirly 200, Vintage VBP, Planet M, Planet N, Planet T, uh, Toy Pianos, Vibe, Vibinet, or Vibes, or whatever you want to call that. Um, it's just got a bajillion different things. It's awesome. There's just so much in here. It is one of the pricier libraries. Um, you do get a 10% discount if you use the code that I'm going to have in the link below. Um, I do make a little money off that, just disclaimer. But... This is the first video I've done where I actually make money off of selling Keyscape. So if you don't believe me, go watch all the other videos in the past that I've made where I didn't make any money selling Keyscape, and I still did the videos because I love Keyscape. <clears throat> it was the first product, like piano product, that I really bought and started doing YouTube videos on back in like 2021, 2022. I've just always loved it. So you've heard me say that a million times. We're going to fly through the GUI, um, and then we're going to get to some playing stuff. GUI is real simple, uh, main tab, reverb, performance. Um, you can do just real simple basic settings here. You go pedal noise, um, release noise, dynamics, EQ. You've got compression. You've got tape. <clears throat> uh, you can do tweaking, so you can tweak the feel, switch it to mono. Uh, some basic settings in here. Um, thinning, which is, if I remember correctly, it's a CPU thing to help with CPU resources, I think. Um, so real basic GUI, I'm not going to say that this piano is like, it's not a piano tech where you can adjust every single parameter. How you kind of get around losing some of that custom ability is just these are probably some of the best pianos out of the box, like maybe don't even need any plugins outside of what comes in. I mean, obviously, that's a very generalized statement. You're probably going to end up putting plugins and, you know, EQ and maybe some reverb if you're fitting it into a mix. But these things, as far as just like double clicking, loading up a patch, these are some of the best feeling libraries just right out of the box. They don't usually need a lot of work unless you're trying to contextualize it in a mix or into whatever, to whatever you're doing. Here's the basic C7. Feels awesome. It's always felt awesome. Um, I don't have any plugins on this, no reverb, no, you know, stereo wideners or anything, um, which I do do a lot, not in videos, but like when I play piano, I have a little bit of widening on it, reverb, you know, the whole thing. So I'm going to, there's, I could spend a bajillion hours going through all these. So I'm just going to go through some of my favorites uh, because 
I don't have time to do all these. I did do all these in one video. It's my initial Keyscape video if you wanna watch that. But it is a two hour video.
those some of the, those are some of the grands. Um, let's move on to the double felt. So the cool thing about the double felt is they just released the double felt. I think about a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago. Um, it came out as a free update to anyone that had Keyscape. They didn't have a felt before this. Um, so this felt is awesome. <laughs> That's the felt. <clears throat> I love the felt. The other thing about Keyscape that's great besides the pianos, the roads are awesome. So you can turn off the terminal if you don't like that. You know, obvious feature.
That's the Rhodes, uh, Clav, you know. the clav um yeah not gonna spend a lot of time with the clavs they're great but i'm just really doing pianos So wing upright, that's really cool. I mean, there's a lot of cool, like, you know, mono.
figure out how that one goes. I forgot how it goes. Uh, but I love the Whirly. The Whirly's, <clears throat> I use that all the time. It's the Whirly. Yeah, Whirly's great. Uh, so some of these duo combo ones are pretty cool. Some of those are cool. Uh, we got the wing tack. A little bit more aggressive than the other wing upright. I've used this on like like for lead lines and stuff, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so Rhodes piano bass. Thank you. 
That's useful. Pretty self-explanatory on the on the vibes or the chimes. Forgot that one. So classical kind of vibe. Got that sound. Use that a ton, but you know, you could. Right, TV for music for kids' television. There you go. Uh, Harmaco.
Planet M. This is the Planet N. So another cool thing, um, if you have Omnisphere, you can load up some of the Keyscape Creative patches in Omnispheres.
I just spent six minutes getting through that, and I got to the bees. There's so much stuff in here. It's, like, stupid. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, when you're talking about just <clears throat> how much stuff, it's insane. I don't think I mentioned this. You can also load up Keyscape in Omnisphere. I know I said you can do that with Creative. You can also do that with um, Keyscape, just the normal Keyscape. It's kind of up to you, um, but you can do it either way. But you can't, I don't think you can load up Creative. You can't load up Creative in Keyscape because a lot of these Creative patches are using synths on like these B and C and D layers. Um, so I typically load up Keyscape in Keyscape. And if I use the Creative Library, I just open up Omnisphere. I think I do that because I just think that Keyscape probably runs better than Omnisphere because there's less stuff in it, but that is unfounded and I don't actually know that for a fact. It's just the way I kind of, that's kind of my workflow. So anyways, that is Keyscape. Um, again, this took about an hour and I got through 30, 40 patches. There's just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff in here. It's just, there's so much stuff and it's all great. There are very few that are kind of like, eh, I'd probably never use this. And that's just because I don't play certain genres of music. Everything in here is awesome. And so um, if, you're, if you're still watching, whoa, like, sub, share, comment, all the things, go follow me on Instagram. Um, but yeah, use the code below if you want to get a 10% discount on this. Also helps me out a little bit. Uh, but again, I love Keyscape. I was saying that before I ever got any type of like commission. And so um, yeah, thank you all for watching. And I will see y'all later.